And who was better as a youngster? I think I was up to see Andy. Yeah, I doubt that. He was probably ahead of his, of his time in the physical aspect of the so, as teenagers, uh, how far do you think you could go with rugby? Do you think you could amass such a, a great uh, amount of games and win the Shield and get to Murrayfield another couple of times? Do you think you could have done that? No, I, I had no idea what lay in front. That's for sure, you know. As I say, it was a, a new game for me, I had no idea. i say for myself, for us, um, just being involved with the club, uh, it was a great as a young boy you get taken in as it is now. It's just not a big family and it's always been like that. Um, I just loved playing for the club. I just you know, thought it's uh, where to go, where we'd end up or where I would end up. But, uh, it's just a, it's a great club to, to be around and play with. So Alan, you actually travelled to New Zealand. That's a long way. It must have taken a long time to get there. And uh, you lived out there and you played. How did how did that how did that compare the rugby? Compare that to Scotland's rugby. Well, I should point out I didn't make the journey in, in one stint. I know it was a long way, so I stopped halfway and had a rest. Uh, it's amazing what rugby brings in there. I actually stopped in Hong Kong to be up with some ex Garnet rugby players, Richard Fern, who still has a strong association with the club and his sponsorship, and also Graham Dixon, uh, who was living with. Rob Johnson's sister, but they are now married. Anyway, yeah, I went out to New Zealand. Um, I think probably chose New Zealand for the rugby, which uh, tilted it that way. Um, and it's probably something I, I wish I'd maybe done earlier on in my career because it was a great experience out there. Um, it really is. A, I think anybody that's been there would, would agree with that. It's a tremendous place to go from the rugby aspect. And Andy, you, you played top flight rugby for Kilmarnock back in 1880, was it? Yes, it was round about yeah. that time. Uh, it was very good in the days, but then I started again in 1990. Oh, right. Uh, 1985, sorry. Um, I went and played for Kilmarnock. You just there. turned 35 then? Just, yeah. yes, I was just 35. Yeah. So, um, 1985, so I played there for five seasons. Um, and it was very, very good. Loved it. Um, loved playing at that level when they were training. In the days we were, I mean, I was training for six nights a week. Um, but before that, actually, yeah, before I went to Kilmarnock, we were playing in the district uh, team as well with Garnock, and uh, that kind of helped us. Well, come and sit down, Will. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Yes. Okay, now, children, we're making something from items that every single one of you have lying around your house. People have far too many of them in all of their cupboards. Now, can you guess what it is, Will? I have absolutely it's, no idea. It's the Garnet Calendar 2009. And this is a wonderful... Oh, actually, someone scribbled all over this one. It's ruined. Look at that. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> But actually, well, I, I'm not sure we have enough here. Um, uh, I think we're a little short. Oh, no, wait, I have a whole other box uh, of <laughs> naked calendars. That's right, <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, sure. Get a house of naked calendars and I'll spread them off the table. We'll get them organised like this. Uh, right, now, children, turn to November in the calendar, right? Get your pair of scissors. You might want to get a parent to help you with this one, it can be tricky, right? And cut out John Lyons, okay? So just follow as I do, and yes, that's it, James, yes, just follow as I do. Cut out, cut out John, blah, blah, blah. Now you have your, your cut out versions of John Lyons, and now just place them in the bin. No one wants to see that. Ugh. Right. Now, children, um, maybe bring mummy and daddy's room for this one. Um, parents, if you don't want your children to eat rubbish, junk food, and overindulge at school, then maybe you should show them September in the calendar before you cut it up. Um, horrifying, horrifying pictures, especially Jamie McNabb. Let's, let's see Jamie. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Welcome back to Garnet Home Shopping Network. Our next item is Garnet Whey Protein. PJ? That's right, Jamie. Right here, garlic whey protein for the body of Ian McKinnon. Not all of us can eat as much as Ian does, but we all still want his body. So do. this, whey protein, loaded with a great number of carbohydrates, 
So even if you can't eat like Ian, you can look like him. You certainly can. So what are we starting at, Jamie? What price shall we offer? Can we put a price in Ian McKinnon's body? I think <laughs> not, PJ. <laughs> but for garlic whey protein, I think we should be starting at probably 10 pounds. 10 pounds? We're throwing this away! 10 pounds and we're coming in 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, This is Ron Evans live for Scottish Rugby TV at Ammon Park, Livingston. We are literally moments away from kickoff. off Ron, Ron, I'll stop you there, son. I'm afraid we've called the game off. Me and the ref, we've chatted, we've chatted through. It's frozen, the pitch, they can't even play. Well, explain yourself, Livingston coach. Well, Mr Evans, I'll just have a look. Look at that. That's solid. That'll not take a stud run. He oh. can't hear the player's well-being. Look, that's gold, ice. Well, on ice. But that's yeah. Imagine if a player lands on that run. He trips. His feet will get frostbite in his face. Ice burns to that face, run. It's the shadows. Look at the shadows. But this they is actual rock. Cut. This is no, rock no. and ice. Oh, Hang no. on a minute. No, no. This is no. this is tough. No. Oi! Oi! Now, James, uh, you're cutting very thin strips of paper there. That's right, James. I I've coloured this paper in orange and I'm cutting it out very carefully, just like so. And remember, I'm using sharp scissors here, so very careful with your fingers. Um, if your mum is around, please let her supervise. Um, so I'm just cutting very thin strips and just building up little pile of them right here. And uh, once I've finished building them up, we can stick these all together. And once these are stuck together, I have a wonderful, a wonderful little wig for Jamie Holmes's bald spot. I'll just set that right there. Right now, children, turn to November again, and we're going to cut out Paul McCrory, okay? Then turn to December and cut out Gareth McCrory. Okay, so here's two I have made earlier. And we have, we have Paul here, and we have Gareth. And look, <laughs> the dancing. La, the dancing, la, the dancing, the dancing. La. <laughs> right, now you get, you get the calendars, and, and you stick them, that's it, like that. Yeah, and, sti and then the sticky back, that's it, yes, just like this, and then, and then stick it down, and then round a bit, and yes, that's, we're almost there. Oh, no, all, so, so oh. just, just one. Oh, one that's, that's, that's marvellous. <laughs> so, right, so I think, I think we should just show you what we made earlier. After the DVD a year ago, but the boy has improved dramatically. You. Pain in the arse. Fat, me, lumpy, bastard. <laughs> it would be at the west of Scotland's ground against Murrayfield. Semi final to get to the final of the Castle Main Cup. And it was a drop full time. David Main had got injured and I moved to number 8. And I had to pick up the number 8 and I scored the try to, to turn the game in our favour. And I duly split my head in the, at the same time. And that was the best one. Um, I think it would be when I was at Kilmarnock um, playing against Ayr. Um, the first game I scored three times against Ayr. It has its pros and cons. I think we should join the Euro. I've been 